Hey guys, welcome back to the Calibrate Tools channel. And today we're gonna learn how to cut glass. So stick around and I'll see you guys right after this. Okay guys, so before you start cutting any glass, you wanna make sure that you're cutting on the right surface. Now, as you can see right here, I prepared my cutting surface, which is the regular table I use in my videos. I covered it with a piece of felt, as you can tell right here. This is a piece of felt, and I fastened it down with some clamps right here, okay? You wanna make sure that you lay your glass down on a surface that will not scratch the glass, and felt is really good for that, any type of soft cloth. Even carpet, well, it's not gonna be this carpet because I got a lot of debris down there that has to be cleaned up and it's a lot of shape, metal shavings and sawdust that can scratch the glass, So, but it can be carpet that's clean. It can even be a towel, as long as the surface is flat. Okay guys, so let's talk about some of the basic tools that you can use to cut glass. All right, so right here I have some basic tools. I have a marker here that you can mark where you wanna score your line on your glass. This is a pencil grip cutter. They have different types of pencil grip cutters. This is a heavy duty pencil grip cutter. And what you do is, you fill it up with glass cutting oil right here, okay? So you unscrew this and you take your glass cutting oil and you fill it up and it comes out of that end to lubricate your score. You can also dip this in oil while you cut as well. Now for the longest time when I thought of cutting glass, I always pictured a diamond cutting the glass. For some reason that image stuck in my mind because a diamond can cut anything. But you don't necessarily need a diamond to cut glass. If you notice on the end of this pencil grip glass cutter, can you guys see that? I know it's kind of hard to see there, but if you can tell, there's a wheel spinning here. That wheel is made of hardened steel or tungsten carbide, okay? And the wheel also has a profile, okay? It's a V-shaped profile on the wheel. So when it touches the surface, the wheel is at a V-shape. So it's just that small edge of the V-shape that's cutting the glass. Now they also have what's called a pistol grip glass cutter. Now I don't have one here, but for the sake of illustration, if you picture this knife handle, looks like a pistol grip, and let's just say I take this pencil grip and I place this back here like that. This is how a pistol grip glass cutter would look. It has a handle like a pistol that you would hold, and the glass cutter portion would extend from this end right here. So you can just score the glass holding it like that. Depends on your preference, but that's out there. The way you replace the cutting wheel on this pencil grip glass cutter, or even a pistol grip glass cutter, is you loosen the screw here and you just take it off and replace it with another one. Now let's talk about this right here. What do you think this is? This is a circle cutting glass cutter. It allows you to cut circles in your glass. So right here, if I bring it closer, this portion right here is a suction cup portion, okay? You place the suction cup on your glass, push that down, and it stays in place because it's sucked onto your glass with the suction cup. And this portion right here is what has the cutting wheel. And you can adjust the cutting wheel to whatever diameter circle that you wanna cut on the glass. So here's a closer look at the scale here. And this one extends to about six inches. Okay, so if you spin it all the way around, that'll give you a diameter of about 12 inches. Okay, a 12 inch diameter circle. Uh, they have larger ones that'll give you about 24 inch diameter circle, which would mean that the scale would be about a foot. Now this is the cutting wheel right here. Okay, and it's attached to this hexagonal nut shaped piece here, all right? But if you notice, there's multiple cutting wheels on this piece here, and that piece is called a turret. The other cutting wheels are there when this cutting wheel gets dull, okay? So all you have to do is turn this around, loosen this screw here, and rotate this turret to the next cutting wheel, all right? And you do that all the way around until you use up all the cutting wheels. Then you may have to replace it then. Okay guys, so here's the last tool you're gonna need safety glasses. Anytime you're cutting glass or cutting anything, you wanna put your safety glasses on, especially with glass, because glass shavings can get in your eyes, glass can get broken and fly all over the place and get in your eyes as well. So you wanna make sure you protect your eyes at all costs, so make sure you have these on hand. And guys, just to be on the safe side, go ahead and throw on a pair of nice, tight-fitting gloves while you're at it. Okay, so we're gonna cut this piece of glass here. It's about 11 by 14 inches and it's about 2.5 millimeters thick, all right? So we're gonna use our pencil grip glass cutter. So the first thing we wanna do is fill it up with oil. And we're gonna take our oil, 
Pour it in. Looks pretty full to me. And we're gonna take our cap, put it back on. Now we're gonna cut a straight line in our glass, okay? We're gonna cut this glass pretty much in half. Right here I have a plastic square, and you can also get a glass cutting square, but right now I have a regular square. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a plastic piece of glass, and then I'm gonna place it on the glass, and I'm gonna use my square to butt it up. I'm using the plastic glass because it covers the span of the glass or the distance that I wanna cut. This square didn't do that, so that's why I have that straight edge. Then I'm gonna take my pencil grip glass cutter, hold it like a pencil, place it on the edge, then place some slight pressure on the glass, press it down a bit, and then score the glass. You only wanna score the glass one time. Okay, once you scored the glass, You can place it on the edge of your table. There you go, perfect cut. Okay guys, another way to break the glass is with one of these right here, okay? This is called a running pliers. If you look at it, you can tell how it's curved, right? And it has this mark here that you line up with your score. So let's line the mark up with our score. Now if you want to clip this edge off, you can use your running pliers or you can use something called a grozing plier, which I don't have right now. So let's just use our running plier. Now you can also use your hands to break the glass as well. You just have to place them correctly on the glass. You wanna place your hands on the glass like this and just give it a quick. Let's try scoring a curved line. Do we have enough oil coming out the end? One way to make sure is to place the cutting wheel at a vertical position on top of a piece of glass, then press down. See how the handle depresses onto the cutting wheel housing? When you press down like that, that releases the oil onto the wheel. So let's go ahead and make a curved line. You guys see that? Well, we can break it just like we broke the other ones. Let's use our hands for this one. Okay guys, now we're gonna use our circle cutting glass cutter to cut a circle in this glass here. But the first thing we want to do is make sure that this cutting wheel is dipped in oil because it's not oil fed like the pencil grip glass cutter. So I poured some of the cutting oil into this bottle cap right here because I didn't have anything else. You know, you use what you can. Then what you do is you take your cutting wheel and dip it in there. Get it nice and saturated. Okay, now you're ready to go. Then I place the suction cup on the glass. Then I want to make a quick circle to make sure that the circle stays inside the perimeters of the glass. And it is. So once that's done, then I lock down the suction cup by pushing down this lever here. Now we're ready to start. You wanna place some slight pressure on the glass. Not too much, you don't wanna break it. Then bring it around. When you hear that click, that means you've completed the circle. Now you can take off the suction cup, remove the tool. Now you wanna take your pencil grip and start scoring from the edge of the circle off the edge of the glass. Then you want to continue that process all the way around the circle. Remember, don't place your hand on the circle. 
while you're doing this, you can break it. This little piece here, you can just snap off. Now, if you got some rough edges, you can grind it down or you can take your grosing plier and just snap these little pieces off. And there you got a perfect circle, guys. Hey guys, learning how to cut glass is a great skill to have when you wanna replace window panes, you know, build picture frames or even do some arts and crafts. So if you got some value out of this video, Hit the like and subscribe button. Don't forget to share it. Hit the notification bell. And I'll see you guys in the next one.